The last time. So my bread look like bread, it smell like bread, it tastes like bread. But it was too heavy. Now today I am gonna make what I'm gonna make bread. So I'm gonna need four cups of flour. So this is two cups. I'm gonna sip this. And I'm using a strong white bread flour. So let me see this. So as I was saying, over the Christmas holidays, me tired, me tired, me tired, me tired, so feel. And because I had to go to work all through the time, so and the cooking and all type of things. So I had promised that I was gonna come and do the video with the bread making again, but we couldn't get to come because I'm getting too tired. Mm -hmm. And because of that now, I didn't have any bread in my house for four days now. Then a couple of days now because we decided to have no bread until we make nine. So I love to eat. <laughs> We're not bitter. This is three cups. Which I want me to have this, we'll be treating this tree and I'll see it. So that's three cups. So I made the bread the other day, the bread come out tough like, well, never tough like crap, but it was too heavy. You couldn't, um, you, you couldn't eat still, but it, it, was a, it was between bread and dumpling. Yeah, but this time now, I'm sure now I say my bread is gonna come out proper. So we need four cups of flour. So I'm using strong white bread flour. So four, four cups. Mm -hmm. So anyway, the, a, a couple days ago I baked. Um, I baked. So I'm again. Fruit cake and fruit cake tastes so nice. I followed a Grace Kennedy recipe and. Cake come out nice. The only thing I didn't put in it are the um, what do you call it? The crackers. With the Grace Kennedy arm thing, they put cracker, crackers in mm -hmm. I never put any crackers, we just add a bit more flour. And it come out nice. So, anyway, this is this is four cups of flour for the bread. And to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. One, two tablespoons of sugar. And I'm gonna need one tablespoon of salt. Show my one tablespoon now. Oh, All right, this is a one tablespoon. So I need one tablespoon of salt. So that's the bread I'm making bread. So I have already. I have four cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna need one tablespoon of yeast. This is the yeast that I'm using. So I'm doing. One tablespoon of yeast. Come on, back up yeast. Come up nice. And how many butter? I'm gonna need two, two tablespoons of butter. So two tablespoons. So this is one. For this video, I'm gonna um, it's gonna be in two parts because I have to mix the dough and then leave the dough to set for 25 minutes and then I have to come and mix it again and then leave it again for another 25 minutes no leave it for another 40 minutes yeah and then I'm gonna it should take about 25 minutes to bake yeah and to that I'm gonna mix all these together and then I am going to add oh, the then I'm gonna add water all right, so I'm gonna incorporate all these. The butter, two tablespoons of butter, four cups of bread flour. So I didn't add any baking powder or anything because I just bought the bread. Um, I just bought the bread flour itself. So four cups of flour, two cups of, what may I say? Four cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of yeast, two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna we have one tablespoon of salt and I'm gonna mix all this together and then I'm gonna add the one cup of water to it but I'm mixing the butter and the, the butter and the flour and the sugar and I'm incorporating everything so I'm making bread today is a bread kind of day you know from when I'm out of bread about four days now and I decide I'm not gonna buy any at the shop going to do a second attempt of baking my own bread. My 
food cake, them come out nice. Them come out nice, child. Mm -hmm. I follow the grey skin of the recipe down to the last tea. Yeah, I follow the grey skin of the recipe. And my fruit cake come out nice. So I'm making sure to break up all the butter incorporated in the flour with the yeast and the sugar and what else? Salt. I said, over here was so cold. London was so cold today. God no. Cold, 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 cold. The place almost cold as if it was going to have snow. I thought it was going to snow. As I come in, I tried to make a fool. I took my tree hot water back on them. Mm -hmm. A tree hot water back on me alone have. I make a fool of my tree hot water bottles. And go straight under my duvet. Because I couldn't take the pole. I could not take the pole. Alright, so now, I hope it's the right step I'm taking, I think. At the right step. Alright, so to that I'm going to add one cup of water. Just dash everything in there. So I'm making bread today. So I've combined the yeast, the sugar, the butter, I've combined them all and I'm mixing them in the dough with together with the water. I mix it together with the water. So I'm at home today making bread. So after I mix the dough properly, then I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And then I come back again and I roll it some more. I'm gonna use a rolling pin and roll it out. Why oh, yeah, they have some strong muscles to this, you know? Trust me. Add it to me. <sighs> Tyrese, come here. I call Tyrese to help me because the sleeve will be a bother to me. The sleeve is an issue. And I cannot touch it now because. My hand is in the door, obviously. Oh, I won't be for much, alright, you know. I don't know about that like the last one, I make. We never put no bacon in the pot, Roll up the sleeve, my diaries, please. Because people may get my sleeve, roll up. This one, too. We ain't gonna roll up only one sleeve, I'm gone. So, alright, the door get. God. You have to be strong, you know? I hope it comes out alright. I'm praying it comes out okay. I'm praying it comes out okay. So this looks like it almost ready for my arm. Put it to sit. So I'm making bread, guys. Oh. Dad, this is a thing that easy to need, you know? No, man, I'm just going to need to do it. I'm still asking them. Because I need to see it. No, man, I'm tired. I'm making bread, hard dough bread. So, yeah. All right, let me put away the sugar. Put away the salt. Put away the flour. This is the bread flour I'm using. Strong bread flour. Oh, that was very good. But I'm gonna need some of the butter, so leave the butter for now. So let me mix it up some more. So in case you missed the first half of the video, I'm making bread today. To this dough, I've added four cups of bread flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon, oh, no, one tablespoon of salt, I lie. One teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of yeast. So, this looks like it. Oh, it mixes in properly. I'm gonna do this live in two sessions. I hope it comes out alright and it's not, uh, it not tough like the last one. <laughs> yeah, I hope it not come out tough like the last one. But let's say I bread. I bread flour on yours. So, if I bread flour, it's not supposed to come out. Like how the regular flour make it come out. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this for like. 20, 25 minutes. One little bit of butter. 
So just be it doesn't so that's not sticking on the pan. Just rub it over it. So that's when I uh, when I leave it and come back, it doesn't um stick. So I'm making hard dough bread. Yeah? Hard dough bread. We make it know how it come out because the last one never come out so good, my dear. The last one come like say put that stone dog with it. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave this for a while. Put it down, I'm gonna cover it, clean film, table, um, tea towel, and I'm gonna let it sit for 25 minutes. So after it sit for the 25 minutes, I'm gonna come back again, start back the live, and show you if it rise. Hey, I wonder if it's gonna rise. You don't know if it's gonna rise. I don't have a clue, but I would like being a spoiler. You get me? I don't want it to spoil. Well, I want this one to come out. Good. The last one, the last one I did. Never come out nice at all. So I'm gonna cover this with clean film and it's gonna sit. If we can get this to cover, Ooh. yep. Cover this with clean film and leave it for 25 minutes and see what happens when we come back. I'm gonna cover with tea towel as well. Yeah. I'm gonna cover it with. As well, so I'm gonna cover it with one, two, three towel. So I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna leave it for 25 minutes. So if you want to see how it, if it's gonna go on with nothing, me know. At the second time, this may be a it, but it's not hard. So I hope I don't make the same mistake like the last time. So I'm gonna so put it to the bread batter. I've added four cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar. One tablespoon of salt, um, one teaspoon of yeast, two tablespoons of butter, one cup of water. Right? Me use this the yeast, so me use. And I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna come back 25 minutes time, child. The fruit cake come out nice, you see. Let me show you what I put it. Look there. <laughs> that left out of the fruit cake. But me have another one. Mm -hmm. It's two, I eight. Make two fruit cake. This morning I put some wine on this. Not this morning, since afternoon. So you see the top kind of look away that I put wine on it. But yes, my dear, it come out quite nice. Well proud of myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to one piece of the extras. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to leave this 25 minutes and then I will be back. We are going to see if it's going to rise. We're not going to see if it's going to rise. Yes, I know. Fingers crossed. Something with one. All right, I'll catch you in 25 minutes. All right. So I'm making bread. I started the first bit where I add all the ingredients together, the flour, the butter, the um, sugar, the salt, the yeast, and I let it sit for a while. And now, I'm um, molding it again. I hope it come out good enough. I hope it come out all right. <laughs> I don't know if it will come out. So I'm making bread, or I'm trying, I'm trying to make bread. This is the second time, the second time I'm trying to do it. The first time never come out so good. So I'm trying again. So I'm gonna see how this one is comes out. I hope it come out all right, you know. Cause the last bread me bake, it never come out good. No, it never come out good. So now I'm trying another one. Anyway, how did you spend your Christmas? What y'all had for Christmas dinner? I had gammon and I had gammon and um, gammon and lamb. That's what I had. So I'm molding. I'm working the dough again. I don't know what they call it in a bread language or baking language. But that's what I'm doing. Let, let me get that, my roller. How are you rolling it in there? Oh, I'm rolling it in there. Why, that's all. 
that I use and I mix it together with half a cup of water some people put in milk you have different way to make it but I try it away and see if it works mm -hmm. I try it away and see if it works so what they said I should do is after I let it sit for 25 minutes mix in the first batch I let it sit for 25 minutes then you come and mix it again for about 8 minutes them say Okay, so you mix it for about eight minutes and after you mix it then I'm gonna put it in the baking tin and let it sit for 40 minutes let it sit for 40 minutes so after it sits for 40 minutes then I'm gonna put it in the oven for 25 minutes I'm not gonna do another video after it finish okay so I'm gonna show it the next time I do a video or maybe not a video the next time I'm gonna show you the end result yeah I'm gonna show you the end result of I hope it's come out all right you know the last one never come out good no I'm gonna put it in the baking tin and let it sit for 40 minutes and then I'm gonna put it in the oven so the next time you see this dough yeah you will be seeing a bread <laughs> you will be seeing the bread hopefully it come out all right people it will make you know if it not come out all right I'll me do me try again next time yeah I'll me do me try again another time and see how it see how it um, fear of. So, this is the tin. I grease the bottom and then put the paper in it. And I'm gonna put this in. This already I go bust up this up and you know it has look there. But I'm gonna put, I'm gonna set this aside for 40 minutes. Then bake it for 18 to 20 minutes. When it's finished baking, I will let you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. This is the second time I try. Um. So anyway, if you have missed it. I was doing the second Facebook live update to show you the next process of the bread making. Yes, I'm making a bread. <laughs> I'm making homemade bread. No cost, no grocery brought bread. Homemade bread I'm making you. So after the bread come out, I'm gonna finish the live now because obviously the whole process finished. So I'm gonna finish with the live. I can't touch the cameras yet. So let me just clean up my area. I can't make the area dirty. No. You cannot. So if you missed it, I was just doing my bread. When the bread come out of the oven, then you will see. I'm gonna let it sit again for 40 minutes. And then I will tell you how it goes. Yeah. I will tell you how it is after that. Let's see how like it comes I'm going to turn off this now because I'm going to tell you about the area. So next time you see me, it's my bread. All right. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.